Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a plaited dog collar, um, just like these ones here. Um, now these are not the sort of dog collars that you want to be putting on a big, robust dog that's going to be, you know, pulling with all its might. These are a more decorative dog collar, so right from the outset you wouldn't want to be putting this on a dog that's um, really strong. These are good, you know, for putting your dog tag on in case your dog gets lost. Um, you know, if you've got an old dog that wanders off and you can put your tag on. Um, they're quite a decorative looking collar, they look quite nice. Um, and they'll fit a small to a medium sized dog. Um, but they're definitely not um, a really, really strong, uh, strong collar for a big dog. So these, these um, buckles that I'm using here, so that's half an inch on the inside by one inch lengthways, so half an inch wide by one inch long. Um, so they're just little ones, normally, and just a little D-ring. So normally I use these big, big buckles for, for a bigger dog and the big D-ring, so you can just see in comparison the size of a dog that this is really designed for. So just before you start, just chop off the ends of your paracord just to make them easier to get through your collar and just give those a, a bit of a melt before you get going. That'll just help the process at the end. Okay, so what you want to do at the halfway point of your cord is you want to put it through your buckle. And just attach that with a cow's hitch, like that. Oops. So that's securely attached. And then you just want to get a piece of cord and also attach that to your buckle with a cow hitch, because you're going to need to put um, this dog collar on a on a door or something to hold it in place while you work with it. So I'm just going to attach it there. Okay, so what you need to do, so this cord's really quite long, you want to you want to come down the cord and try to work out where it's equally in three places. Sorry, let's just try that again. Okay, so we want this to be roughly even. Three equal parts. And at that point there, where you're satisfied that it's even, you're going to wrap it around behind the strand coming down. And you're going to put both two strands onto one side over that centre strand. Okay, of course one of these is loose and the other is just a continuous loop. So what you're going to do is you're going to start a braid or a plait so the right strand comes into the centre and then the left strand comes into the centre. And just pull that, that loose end so that it doesn't keep getting tangled. Right into the centre, left into the centre and that's the loose strand so pull that through. Right into the centre, left right, pull your loose strand through, left into the centre, right, left, right, left. Uh, now you're going to put your D-ring on shortly, it's really personal preference where you want that to go. Um, I think I'm just about ready to put mine on now. So now I'm ready to put my D-ring on. So you get the two loops and thread them through your D-ring. And slide that D-ring up to where you're working. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to work out which strand goes next, but you just have to take your time and, and figure that out. Okay, so now 
right strand, sorry, left strand comes over, right strand. That's actually going to go through there, back through your D ring. And that will secure that in place, like so. Actually, it needs to be the other way around. Okay, left, and then you just continue on with the braid. Left strand, right strand, left strand into the center, right strand into the center. Left strand, right strand, and you're just going to continue on with your plait all the way down as far as you can go. Oops. Just make sure you get untangled as you're going along. Getting down towards the business end of the dog collar. I haven't got a lot of room left to, to go. Put the left into the centre. Okay. So this is actually quite a little, quite loose here because we didn't have much room. So you're going to need to undo, loosen off some of your, your plait and kind of slide that down to the end. So then once you tight, get that all smoothed down so that you're happy with how that looks. Um, you're just going to fold these last few strands back the way they came. We'll go over that one and under these ones here. Just need to work out where's the best option for you to send them. And then we'll just finish off with one more round going up through there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll cut these straight, uh, actually I might just put one of those strands under, under here, just to make sure it's a little bit more evenly spaced. Okay, and I might actually melt those on top of each other. So. Just get your scissors here and chop off one strand, melt that onto there. Okay, and then we'll chop off the other strand a little tiny bit longer and we'll melt that over onto that other strand so they can't slip out through the through the gaps. Just give that a little bit more smell. So we'll move that over to there so that those two strands are melted onto each other. Okay. And then this is the main part of your collar, so we'll just undo this so you can see. Let's just take that off there. Okay, so your plait's going to come, or your collar, will come through the buckle. And because that is double thickness at the end, it's just going to be a little bit tricky to get through, but um, no big deal. Once that's through, you can just put your prong through your dog collar like so. 
and then you put that part back through through there. Like I said, a little bit fiddly because it is a bit thicker at the end. But once it's on your dog, you shouldn't really need to be undoing your collar too much. Okay. And that's your dog collar. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.